the Atlanta Hawks are screwing themselves up once again. Just two days ago, we got this report from Woj saying that the Atlanta Hawks fired their head coach named McMillian. As of right now, Hawks assistant coach Joe Prudy is named the interim head coach while they search for the next head coach candidate. Ever since Nate McMillian joined the Hawks back in 2020, Atlanta had a 99-80 record and also 11-12 record in the playoffs. However, what absolutely shocked us here is this report from NBA Central. According to the athletic reporter Jerry Weiss, regarding Trey Young the Hawks, quote, I expect that Atlanta is going to start exploring it, and it's going to start getting out this summer. Now, this is the second time that the Hawks are having problems with Trey Young's relationship with the head coach, and it's getting more and more obvious that Trey Young might no longer be perceived as the cornerstone of this Atlanta franchise. In today's video, we'll be going over a lot of information on Trey Young's status within the Hawks organization and see the possibility of him actually getting traded in the offseason. So with that being said, let's roll the intro. Yo, what's up guys, Jason Zier back with another video. If it's the first time watching, I make NBA content every single day. If you want the latest NBA news and rumors in your feed, all you gotta do is to leave a like and subscribe so that you won't miss any of my future upload. Now, as mentioned in the intro, the Atlanta Hawks have already parted ways with their head coach named McMillian. In my opinion, his firing was only a matter of time. Earlier this season, Trey Young had multiple conflicts with McMillian. There was even a game earlier when Trey Young was unhappy with the game plan and refused to even get on the court. If you have been watching the Hawks or paying attention to Trey Young, this isn't the first time that things like this happened. With the previous Hawks head coach Lloyd Pierce, Atlanta also fired him because, again, there were bad relationships with Trey Young. Looking at the bigger picture here, ever since Trey got into the league, he had conflict with the head coach every single season within these past five years of his career. And guess what the result is? Well, all these coaches got fired. Today, we got some more information regarding the next coaching candidate for the Hawks. According to email insider Sham Sharania, quote, Hawks throwing in on potential hiring of Queen Snyder, formerly of the Utah Jazz, as Atlanta's new head coach, sources say. Now, if we look at this current coaching market here, Queen Snyder is without a doubt the best option out there, and he's an elite coach in the league. These past 8 years with the Jazz, Utah had a lot of success. Now, one super interesting thing to point out here is, without deciding who the next head coach is actually going to be, Shri Young posted a picture on Instagram wearing a Steve Nash jersey. To be honest, I'm a bit puzzled about this, but I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Is Shri Young turning the Hawks to hire Steve Nash as the next head coach? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Later on, we got some more information from The Athletic, quote, The Hawks and Snyder had a virtual meeting on Wednesday, sources said. Snyder was believed to be out of the country as of Wednesday, and the sides are working on a potential in-person meeting in the very near future, sources added. Along with Snyder, the Hawks have a list of head coaching candidates such as Milwaukee Buck assistant Charles Lee, Sacramento Kings assistant Jordy Fernandez, Golden State Warriors assistant Kenny Atkinson, San Antonio Spurs assistant Mitch Johnson and G League South Base Miles Simon. Among the poll candidates, it's believed that the Hawks have focused on Snyder. There has been mutual interest between the Hawks and Snyder, sources said. At 29-30 and in 8th place in the Eastern Conference standings, the Hawks believe the time is right to move quickly on their coach of the future, if possible, and believe in Snyder's ability to enhance their culture on and off the floor. Now, things look promising here, right? But in my opinion, this is possibly the first step of this huge shift the Hawks are making as a franchise. Thinking about Queen Snyder as the head coach and what he values, the answer here is defense. And we all know that Trey Young is pretty bad at that. If we combine this with the previous information from the athletic reporter Jerry Weiss regarding Trey Young's getting traded by the Hawks this offseason, there are signs pointing to us that Trey Young could actually be traded this offseason. In essence, the biggest reason that the Hawks decided to fire the name McMillian is because of the bad relationship we had with Trey Young. And based on this report from Weiss, it seems like Trey Young is no longer untouchable in the trade market. 
These continuous conflict with the head coach are making the Hawks questioning whether Trey Young is the foundation of this Hawks franchise in the future. Now, if you ask me, I think that the Hawks questioning here are perfectly reasonable. Aside from forcing head coaches out, Trey Young himself has been inconsistent too as a player. Last season, getting eliminated by the Heat in the playoffs, Trey Young was the big reason. In that 5 game series, Trey Young was averaging 15.4 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists per game. Comparing that to his first trip in the playoffs where he was averaging 28.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 9.5 assists per game, there was a huge dip. From the surface level, Trey Young is playing good this season, averaging 26.7 points, 2.9 rebounds, 10.3 assists, and 1 steal per game. However, his field goal percentage is now at 42.8%, which is the lowest since his rookie year. Plus, his 3 point shooting percentage is at a poor 32.4%, which is also his career low. This past offseason, the Hawks invested heavily to acquire a backcourt duo for Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. In exchange, the Hawks had to send Danilo Gallinari, 3 first round picks, and a pick swap. This year, Murray is averaging 20.7 points, 5.5 rebounds, 6.1 assists, and 1.5 steals per game. If we look at Murray's contract, his $16.5 million cap hit is a huge steal right now based on his production. With one year of contract left next season, another huge extension is coming up. However, if we look at Trey Young's contract situation, he and the Hawks agreed to a 5 year, $215 million deal this past offseason. Now, if the Hawks want to extend Murray, it makes no sense to have two huge contracts in their backcourt. So, again, here, Thoughts are connecting to Trey Young's rumor of getting traded this offseason. If we move on to some advanced stats, we can see here that Trey Young has the 8th highest usage rate at about 32%. However, he has an efficient field goal percentage of 48.3%, which is the second worst in his career so far. Additionally, he also has a true shooting percentage of about 56.8%. Compared to last season, he dropped 5.3% and 3.5% in these two categories respectively. Maybe after these fears of exploring, the Hawks are starting to realize that the problem is not the head coach but rather Trey Young himself. Now, take a look at this tweet by former NBA head coach George Carl. He said, quote, It's a Trey Young versus the Nikola Jokic league. Me first versus we first. Clearly, he is pointing out that Trey Young is an individual player that doesn't make his teammates better. These past few years, the Hawks are doing everything, no matter if it's from a roster perspective or coaching perspective, to add more pieces to the team to help Trey Young. However, the team is still not making any major strides during the season these past years, so in reality, maybe the problem is actually Trey Young himself. Well, the Trey Young drama is officially starting and we'll see how things pan out with him in this offseason. Alright guys, that's all we got for today's video. Let me know your thoughts about Trey Young in the comment section down below. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave that subscribe and follow me on social media with all the links in the description box down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.